we are going to plot these values now you look at the values here you have them in sub multiples you students used to run away from this kind of graph now let me teach you that it is not difficult it's very easy you can always plot when it is in 3d smart places please make sure you don't go approximating this you will lose a lot of points if you start approximating this if you start approximating this you will lose a lot of points you have to work on this you can actually plot this let's go to our graph book having that we will move to cm inside Let's move to CN inwards and then one CN upwards. Or we can still move to, we can still move to CM up. Let's see. We can still, that's, this is two CM, this is four CM. So we are moving four CM upwards. We are moving four CM up. From here up, we move. 4 cm, 2 cm, another 2 cm, 4 cm. Then we put our 0, 0. Look at our val values 0 0.049 for x, for inverse of x. And then here you are asked to plot the graph of, they say plot inverse of x against, against inverse of y inverse of x against inverse of y so this is your vertical axis and this is your horizontal axis so we now have let's take care of this vertical axis we have to name it this is here you have your inverse of x and then here we have our inverse of y so here now we have a 0 comma 0 we now choose our scale we have 0 0.49 as the lowest value here and we have 0 0.294 as the highest value here so what do we do we can use 0 0.5 we can use 0 0.05 let's use 0 0.05 to help us spread our values all right so if we now say let 2 cm represent 0 point let 2 cm represent 0 0.05 on inverse of x axis so we now have here is 0 0.05 every 2 cm is 0 0.05 so for you not to make mistake please i said don't worry yourself you have to do it so if this is 0 0.05 the next one will be 0 0.05 plus 0 0.05 when you do this this is 0 0.10 you see it so the next one will now be 0 0.10 and then plus 0 0.05 is you now be 0 0.15 plus 0 0.05 you now be 0 0.20 0 0.05 plus 0 0.05 you now have 0 0.25 and then here we now be 0 0.30 we can stop there because it has covered what we want or you can still put 0 0.35 then the next one we are choosing for inverse of y axis you see we can still use the same thing because of the values you have there so we now have here to be 0 0.05 here is 0 0.10 here is 0 0.15 here is 0 0.20 here is 0 0.25 Five, here is 0 0.30 then the next thing we go straight into plotting our graphs you now have when inverse of x is 0 
the inverse of y is 0 0.227. The first thing again is to know what the smallest division will be. Please don't use viral on your graph page. You see me, I'm not using viral there. Always work with pencil on your graph book or graph page. Here is 0 0.05. What will this smallest division be? Don't waste your time in cracking your brain. The thing you do, just say, if 10 boxes, have 10 boxes to give you 0 0.05. What will one box give you? One box, you now give you what? Call it X. Then you now say 10X is equal to 0 0.05. Therefore, x is equal to 0 0.05 all over 10. And this will give you what? It will give you 0 0.005. That's what one division here will give you. So if one division here is giving us 0 0.005, the next line will be what? 0 0.005 plus 0 0.005. Five. Let's do it so that you don't make mistake. 5 plus 0 0.005. We now have this is 0, this is 1, this is 0, this is point. So we are now having, if this is 0 0.005, this one will be what? 0 0.010. This will be what? 0 0.015. This will be what? 0 0.020. 0 0.025. 0 0.035. 0 0.035. 0 0.040. 0 0.045. And this is 0 0.05. That is how you do this. All right? So we can go ahead and start plotting. Now we have 0 0.294. Let's trace it on our inverse of x axis. This is 0 0.20. All right. And this is 0 0.25. So 0 0.294 will be closer to 0 0.30. So this is 0 0.25, 0 0.26, 0 0.27, 0 0.28, 0 0.29. And here is 0 0.295. So between 0.29, uh, here is 2 point, 0.295. So the 294 will be closer to this 5. So we now, uh, you can place it closer to the line, knowing that you are getting the 294 there. All right? Or you can just make it closer to that. Now, and this is 0 0.227. So here you have 0 0.20 and this is 0 0.25. So this is 0 0.210220 and we are having 227. If this is 0 0.2, 0 0.210, 0 0.2 two zero then this is zero point two two five and here should be zero point two three all right so we now take it from here this is two one two 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 three two five so it will be in between these two five this is two one two two this is two five and then here will be 2, 3. So it is in between here. You now have 2, 2, 7. You now take it up. Don't deviate. Take it, go up, continue going. Don't deviate. Make sure you don't deviate. You don't deviate. Take it up here until it gets to here. And then bring this here. Here. This one, take it. So here, the point is meeting. You now put your point there. Draw your point there. The next one is 0 0.119. Again, 0 0.119. So here is 0 0.05. 
0.10, this is 0.10. So here is 0 0.110, here is 0 0.12, here is 0 0.15. So we are having 119. So here is 0 0.10, 0 0.1 here, 110. And the next one we have, you, you can always add up to make sure if it's, this is 0 0.15, this is point, we are coming here, 0 0.11, here is 11, and here is 12, all right? So between this 11 and then 12, we have 119. So it's very close to 12. It's very close to 12. Again, here is 0 0.1. 0 0.11, this is 0 0.12. The same thing is very close here, so you can carry it up from here. Carry it up from here, don't deviate. And then get to this place, bring this very close to 2, but not 2. And then you place your value here. The next is 0 0.085. On this at 0 0.05, 0 0.06, 0 0.07, this is 0 0.08, and this is 0 0.05. This is 0 0.85. All right, you take it out. This is 0 0.85. Again, 0 0.083. This is 0 0.05. Then here will be 6. 0 0.06, 0 0.07, 0 0.08. And this is 0 0.85. So between here and here, you now have the tray. So you take it from inside of this and go up. Take it. Don't deviate. Meet here. Check again. 6, 7, 8. The fifth one is here. So you have here. You meet it here. You need this one here. 0 0.060. This is 0 0.05. And here is 0 0.060. You take it. To me, 0 0.074. This is 6. This line is 6. Take it. Then this is 0 0.0567. This is 75. So just very close to the five you can go up and here you have it then 0 0.049 against 0 0.065 0 0.049 this is 0 0.05 0 0.1 2 3 4 4 is here 4 5 is here so close to 0 0.05 this is close to 0 0.05 then 0 0.06, you just bring this. This is 0 0.5, 0 0.65 is this line. This is 0 0.65. So here you now have your points. So you now have one, two, three, four, five. Our five points correctly plotted. Now we now draw the line of best fit. Look at our line of best fit. Remember. You want to catch the points. You want to get the points. And then you, some students will now come and look at this and do like this and tell you that this is line of best fit. If you do this, you notice that only one point will be on this side and two points on this side. And that is wrong. It did not balance up. So you must do it in such a way that the points that do not enter will be equal to the points that did not enter and are on this side will be equal to the points that do not enter and are on this side. So let's do this. If I do this now, I have these points that entered and then I have one here did not enter and I have one here did not enter. And this is the best line of best fit for this our graph. Here also you can always Find your slope. You can find your slope. You can do this to find your slope. 
you can take it this way you can find this do this this is a large right angle triangle then you can always find your slope you can now say that slope is equal to this is change and inverse of x all over change and inverse of y so this is change in inverse of x over change in inverse of y so you have to this is we started with this point this is 0 0.294 which is equal to let's say equal to so slope is equal to 0 0.294 all over minus here is here 0 0.05 minus 0 0.050 all over you have here you have having point twenty point two one two two we are using point two one two two point two three is on two three zero point two two five two three zero minus look at it two zero two three then here is six here is five six five minus zero point zero six five check it again look at this is zero five here is zero six you see where it cuts it so this is zero six five so we use our you can use your calculator to do this 0 0.294 minus 0 0.050 and say 0.294 minus 0 0.050 we have we have 0 0.244 all over all over 0 0.230 0 0.230 minus 0 0.065 0 0.065 we have 0 0.165 so this is now 0.2 Four four. We divide it by point one six five. We have one point four seven eight seven eight seven. I press next to one point four seven nine. This is our slope and see. If you are asked to find the intercept, the intercept, there is an intercept on the inverse of x axis and is on this. So if this is minus 0 0.05, here is the intercept. So we now want to look at some graphs here. I want us to look at some graphs here. You will help me to no, the problem, the problems we have here, the mistakes on these uh, graphs. Look at this one. You see that if this one is telling us that between here and here is the 10 divisions, and then it's telling us that 2cm is 0 0.2. So between here and here is also 0 0.4, correct? And these students made a mistake here to write 0 0.4 again, and this is a very big mistake. It will now affect all the values. Because after this, 
0 0.4, 0.4, 0 0.6, and then 0.8 and 1. So this is a very big mistake that, we, uh, that none affected the values. Now, look at this person. Here, he's telling us that if this place is 20, 20 units, which means 2CM represents 20 units here. Now, the next one should be 40. But what is he having here? This is 20 units. This is not very clear. But here is 35. And here is 50. So when you, and here is 65. So when you check it, you now notice that the trend is not corresponding to the scale this student um, has chosen. So if this is 20, this should be 40, this should be 60, this should be 80, and then this should be 100, and he's having 65 here, 50 years. So this is wrong. Please always pay attention to this. Now here, this person started from this 0, 0 origin, and he's telling us that 2CM should be 0 0.6. This person is telling us that 2CM should be 0 0.6. But what is he having? Instead of now adding, he now say, he now, uh, what he did here is that he now said 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9. So it is very wrong. It's not correct. So this is 0, 0 0.6. So, which means you now add 0 0.6 plus 0 0.6. All right? This is wrong again. Ha! This one, look at the slope. Please, the slope is never like this. The slope will always come down this way. Always come down this way for your slope, please. Hope we have done justice to this. I leave you with this and then what you do, go to past questions, get the values and then use them to learn how to plot graphs. See you in the next video.